Hey, what's going on, man? So you're going to your doctor for a six-month checkup, right? And you feel great because you lost all this weight. And he said, Todd, you're obese. What? Like a gut punch right there. Yo, he didn't mean it in a bad way, but it's true. Numbers are numbers, charts are charts. I'm still in the obese range. Now, when I started this journey, I can't believe it's been almost a year. I was in the extreme obese range. I was 340. I weighed in at the doctor's office at 267. I've been floating by that 255, 265 range. Uh, for a while now and anyway it just it got me thinking you know for my height i'm six foot three my ideal weight is supposed to be like 160 to 195 man i haven't been i haven't been below 200 since high school i was 185 when i graduated and they just gone up since then <laughs> but even 10 years ago when i feel like physically uh appearance i was in the best shape of my life appearance wise um i was a 230 235 ish so we like you know got me thinking hey is 240 a realistic goal I know it doesn't figure in muscle. I'm not going to pack on a whole lot of muscle, but you know maybe I should shoot for 222 for 25. Um, just just rethinking it. But here's here's a scary thing, guys. So I started digging into some numbers. And I'm not one that's huge on numbers. I always like to kind of keep things simple. But it also helps me when when I look at like an overview. And I knew that when I was 340 pounds, there was there was something wrong. I mean, it just yeah, I knew I was overweight for a while, but honestly, it feels like it kind of snuck up on me. I was like, 340 pounds. What's going on? And listening to a podcast with Paul Saladino, he said 70% of Americans are overweight. Of those 70%, 42% are obese. Man, that's an issue. That's that's crazy. Why? Why? And, and I'm in that category. Why? What's going on? Why are we... Um, packing on the pounds and he, he brought up good point he's like look man if you look at the lines in, in the 70s to see the movie star wars one of my favorite movies by the way um you didn't really see that many overweight people but if you look at lines today of people most of us are overweight and again i'm in that category what's going on what started late 70s early 80s till now well you know you got the more commercialized processed foods we didn't have that prior to then you got the whole margarine over butter issue that now they've gone and reversed that says butter is actually healthier you got the whole you know hey these are healthy cereals but if you look at the ingredients and read reports and studies there's crazy chemicals in some of these processed foods and i've mentioned this before if you you know, there's several different diets, meal plans out there. They're kind of similar. All of them cut out the sugars and the processed carbs. That's pretty consistent. Some of us do okay with vegetables. Some of us do better with a higher protein-based diet. All of our bodies are a little bit different. But we need the sugars and the processed foods. Is 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 really damaging us. It's addictive you know I mentioned my sugar addiction before why is it so hard to stay away from certain foods that's an addiction i had my colonoscopy right before father's day and it was just routine uh, you know i'm two-time cancer survivor i've been cancer free for 15 years so this is just a routine checkup they did find a few polyps they biopsied them everything's fine but he said i can eat whatever i want afterwards and i was like Oh boy, man, I got the green light, you know, cool. So we went to one of our favorite restaurants that we don't get to go to often enough because it's, it's pretty far, uh, but it happened to be over in the area where my procedure was. And uh, chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes, rolls, mmm, oh, so good. Since I had that and I did really well and my colonoscopy results were great, hey, you know, I had some cold ones, <laughs> drink, drink a few of those. They just kind of snowballed from there. To, to more and more processed foods. And I didn't gain the weight. Um, I mean, if I'd have gone real crazy, I, I have no doubt I probably would have. I mean, today I weighed in at 264, but I could just feel all the processed foods. I can feel it. my body just, oh, just was hating it. And uh, you know, your stomach, it starts to gurgle and all that stuff. And it's just like, Todd, why'd you do that? Why'd you do that to yourself, you know? Go back to meats, go back to protein, go back, you know, um, give your body what it's searching for, you know, the dense nutrients. And so uh, I've got to get back on track. Uh, speaking of Father's Day, my girls, they got me 
this little super dad mug i got a matching cap and i got a matching tumbler to go with it awesome love it also i uh, got my very first gas grill i'm 50 years old never had a gas grill i've always done charcoal um but you know when you're grilling steaks every single day it's kind of inconvenient to do the charcoal every single day so i found myself you know pan frying a lot of the steaks instead of actually grilling them and um, love the grill i love the smoke flavor and love the way it does so i'm in love with this grill it's one of those weber's three burners mm, it's awesome we broke it in with uh, some fajitas and uh, i might try to show a picture it came out kind of dark because of the lighting on the porch but uh, i've cooked fajitas on it i've cooked some ribeyes on it cooked some strip steaks on it um, I am loving this thing. I've used it almost every day ever since getting it. You know, I've, I've never bought propane before in my life. Never bought, you know, it's kind of an experience, but yeah, I'm hooked. I love it. So I'm gonna get right back on, on the horse as far as, you know, carnivore diet. I'm going to play around with, you know, uh, ketosis. You know, should I be in ketosis or not? I, I haven't really worried about it before. I'm, I always like to kind of keep things simple, but I want to live an optimal, healthy life. You know, as, as healthy as I can at the same time without feeling restrictive. That's super important. I don't want to feel restrictive. Um, and I think the main reason I was kind of feeling restrictive is because, again, the addiction, how we're addicted to this food. You've got to get out of out of the system. Just It, it takes a while. Uh, I've been on this journey for a year. And I still crave some some cereal. And I was having quite a bit of cereal that when, when the snowball effect was happening. I got to get out of my system because I just I feel sluggish. I feel like crap. And so, but anyway, I'd love to hear your goals, where you're at, your journey. I love the messages that you send me. Uh, keep that up. If you haven't started Carnivore and you're interested, I have that free Carnivore Survival Guide at tidedickle.com. We'll put a link below. If you want something way more detailed, um, Caitlin and Ellen Weeks, they did that 30-day Carnivore Diet Challenge. It's $24.99, I believe. They'll, I'll put a link below there also for that. It's an amazing but I'm still using it, man. It's got recipes in it. It's got a grocery list. It's got meal plans. Uh, it, it's, I want to say it's like 185 pages. Lots of information, well worth the value. Uh, so consider that. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out anytime. And to see about the 180 day carnivore results, we're going to put a link to that right here. Till next time, God bless and keep grilling. Mm -hmm.